Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz and today I am trying Havana Rocket TENS units. I've used TENS units for quite some time. Not too thrilled about how I originally came across the TENS unit because essentially I got scammed. Okay, I wasn't scammed, but it was extremely overpriced. So I, I held a little bit of a, a bitterness for that. <laughs> If you ever go to and you see the you know the kiosk store you have people trying to come up and sell you things and if you're really interested get some more information about it you know try out the product there but I wouldn't I would strongly suggest you googling before you actually purchase there so that way you know where to find it cheaper just my cheapness showing through <laughs> and my lessons learned <sighs> still hold a little bit of a grudge of that even though it's been a few years since that happened anyways so I decided to try this out and something a little bit more convenient, hopefully, and we're going to see if it works and especially after the past two weeks, which is part of the reason why you haven't seen nearly as many videos from me. Um, so let me go ahead and break it down to you. A couple of, a couple of weeks ago, went to my niece's quince. Happy birthday, by the way, belated birthday. <laughs> In case you don't know, I'm extremely clumsy and I fell. And I'm thinking that I had a lot of adrenaline going at the time because I didn't really feel any pain. And I think it was like two days later, went to sleep, woke up, and I literally could not sit down, lay down, could not find a way to be comfortable because apparently I had, I guess the way I fell, it took a while for my body to register <laughs> that I was in pain. And I haven't been able to sit or lay down or anything like that comfortably. Uh, because I had a really, really bad sharp pain going from my hip all the way down to my foot. So even when I was, you know, taking a step, pretty much, I was just an excruciating sharp pain. Still have a little bit of pain and I do walk a little funny, which you may see in a couple of upcoming videos where I'm moving around, especially when I go to the state fair on my other YouTube channel, Jazzy Foods. You guys kind of get a little heads up about what happened. Oh, hopefully... For future reference, this will be able to help. I didn't, actually didn't even think about getting out the TENS unit just because I knew it wasn't muscle that was causing the issue. It was a nerve and there was no direct way for me to get to that nerve and, figure, you know, adjust that. And plus, the pain was too bad for me to even do anything to it. I did pretty much. I tried to stay drugged up and sleep as much as I could, which is obviously easier said than done <laughs> when you're in pain. We're going to see how this works and if it works and see any effects. In case you don't know exactly what a TENS unit is, it's pretty much just an electric massager uh, that usually uses sticky pads, kind of like the EKGs. They're going to stick to you, have some cords running to the machine, and it's just going to pulsate. You kind of see those with, um, I've seen where they have like for the butt muscles where it's trying to help you. You see the pulsations, or um, I've seen it for the stomach to give you a six pack. Essentially, it's just a giant tense unit. <laughs> so it's going to um, activate your muscles and make you flex and things like that. All right, so let's see how this exactly works. So it does come with three different heads. You've got, what is this one, the dual head? Yeah, the dual pulse head. So if you've got a couple of different spots that are within close vicinity, you've got the single head, and you've got the flat head. So I'm gonna leave it as is. You do need a single AA battery for it to work. I'm actually kind of nervous because um, if you have your TENS unit up too high, it can be pretty painful. Not like I've put it on full blast on somebody before and had them almost crying because I would never do such a thing. That's just cruel and unusual punishment. Although they did tell me no one time. So kind of pay back. <laughs> I've actually have had, if the TENS unit isn't set right too, it can actually cause like some, it feels like kind of like fine little needles that are pretty painful. So you just got to find out exactly how to adjust it um, with the pulse that you're using on the TENS unit. Hopefully that's the case with this one, but it looks like there's only settings on the strength. Well, that's all the TENS unit has anyways is the strength. Duh. So hopefully this doesn't cause any pain. 
So if you do feel that pain, the sharp needle, the excruciating, um, either A, sticky pad isn't on there properly or it's way too hot. With that being said, we're going to skim through this instructions, although I don't necessarily need that because we're going to try do, do trial and error. I'm just trying to see if there's any warnings or anything like that. I already, I know how to insert the battery. I just did that. Did you not see me? <sighs> All right. Skin preparation for treatment, right? For treatment area. I'm kind of, I'm not sure how to interpret this. It says, try trim excessive hair from area to be treated do not shave is this considered excessive hair i'm not sure because i plan on okay i'll just do it on my inner arm okay problem solved uh, wash and dry treatment area thoroughly the treatment area should be free of oil and lotion before use luckily i have some hand sanitizer over here so i'm going to clean myself up because i know i have lotion on my hands and my arm Wash and dry both hands thoroughly versus just one. Both hands must be completely free of moisture, oil, and lotion before use. All right, so this is just sanitizer that I put, which is, majority of it is alcohol, 62% as an antiseptic. So I think I should be okay. I did actually attempt to review one in the past, but it was a little too painful, and so I decided not to post the video. So hopefully that's not the case with this one. If not, I think it's still going to be posted, and y'all are just going to see me in pain. <laughs> All right, so I just hit the power button. I'm very, very, very scared. Okay, so it says, why do you need to clean your hands, and it's so important. Hand Vanna Rocket uses the hand you hold it in as with as a ground to complete the electric circuit in the body the unit will not function if you wear gloves or hand covering oh no i didn't like that that's part of the reason why i didn't like it before is because i actually felt the pulsation through on this arm the arm that's holding it and i didn't like it so we're gonna try this out and you can probably be able to see my muscles jump so once it turns on, you actually see the pulsation right here. I'm going to see how it looks. So, as you see right here, you see the, based off of how, how strong it is, it's going to, you're basically going to see it right here. But I'm not doing it on, on level eight. So there are eight levels. I'm just really scared to do this. <sighs> the things I do for you guys. I'm very scared to do this. I really am. I don't want to do this. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do it with a single head first. That's how ner honestly nervous I am about doing it. All right, so I have to turn it off first. But oh, So I, you just pull it out, and that's how it's going to change out the heads. Once again, I'm kind of scared to use this, so I'm not even going to lie, because it it's supposed to work exactly like a TENS unit, and more than likely, I'm going to feel it through my hand, which I do not like. All right. Okay, I don't feel anything. So I guess that's a good thing? I'm not sure. Am I, is there a certain way you're supposed to hold it? Let me make sure. making sure this is on properly. I don't feel anything. I have it up to six right now and I don't feel anything. Am I supposed to hold it a certain way? Okay, so it's telling me that I need to hold it like this. Choose one of the three heads. Okay, did that. Press the power button up. Hold the device in a dominant hand. Okay. Hmm. Alright, right, try it again. I don't feel anything. 
any movement that you see in my hand currently is all my personal doing. Move the head around until you found the trigger point that maximizes the pulsing and twitching. The device does not work directly on bones like, knee, like kneecaps or collarbones, so choose area in close proximity that consists of muscle or fatty tissue. That's all that's right here. What are you talking about? So it's telling me to, to use right here to see if it works. It's not working. Guys, I think I gotta do it. It says you should feel a pulse sensation or notice your muscles twitching. Move the head around until you find the trigger point that maximizes the twitching sensation. If you do not feel anything, move the head around or press the up button between pulsing sensations or twitching moles. Um, adjust the intensity feel that feels stronger yet still comfortable. Uh, yeah, I don't feel anything. And I have it on a set four, so I'm halfway to the highest setting right now. I don't know what okay, I'm doing. So now. initially I'm thinking this thing is a dud. You guys seeing me move around my arm and everything like that. I tried the single use head, didn't feel anything at all. And I had it on the absolute highest setting, which I was extremely terrified <laughs> to have it on because I'm thinking, okay, I don't feel it at one, two, let me just go ahead and crank it all up. You know, thinking as soon as I touch my arm, I'm gonna get electrocuted. Yes, I'm exaggerating. Rude. Anyways. I also tried, the flathead, again, absolutely no response on me. No matter how, where I touched my arm, what level I had it on, nothing, zero response. I went to the original one that was already attached. I'm like, okay, the other two do, are not working whatsoever. Am I doing something wrong? Well, luckily I was smart enough to turn it all the way down and test it out. When I turn it, when I actually turn it, I don't feel anything using the first level. So as I turn it up, I'm on level two right now. I still don't have any response because I suggest to do it on here on your arm. I don't have, I feel a little, very tiny little bit of pulsating depending on where I set it. And I'll set my arm, my hand down so that way you guys can see if there is any response rather than when I'm holding it because then I'm just like kind of. I'm a little unsteady. Okay, sorry. I had to. <laughs> yes, I do break in song in everyday life, so you guys see it on camera as well. So I do have a little bit of twitching. Set it up to level three. And it doesn't seem nearly as strong. As I mentioned, I did it using another TENS unit type of device like this. And <laughs> put it on level one with the other device. I wanted to cry because, um, well, I'm like, I'm over exaggerating. Yes. I didn't necessarily want to cry, but, um, I did feel significantly just on level one. I'm not sure if my arm is twitching or not. Oddly enough, if I use both, I don't really feel it, but when I focus on just one side and that's one thing that, you know, may not show on camera, you're like, you're not using it, right? You're not using both ends, but it seems like it's stronger instead of using both endpoints if I'm just using one. It sounds weird, but for whatever reason, that's the way this machine is working. I'm not sure if I got a defective device because the other two heads are not working. The, the single point as well as the flat head. Weird. I know. I, I want you guys to know that, yes, I do realize that I'm only using one head of it. And as I move it around, like, I don't feel absolutely anything right here. Oh, I feel a little bit. But as I move around, I feel more pulsation. I'm trying to see if I can get my muscles to bounce because as I mentioned, I've used another one of these devices, which I wasn't a huge fan of and just having on the absolute lowest setting and I felt it and you can actually see significantly my, you know, muscles contracting and everything like that. 
I'm being very quiet right now intentionally because as I move it, I hear very slight little ticking sounds and I'm not sure if it's gonna pick up on camera. It sounds kind of like as if you're rubbing against static and you hear that pop, 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 that very, very light popping sound. That's kind of what it sounds like. But I do feel it, but it feels more like needles. And as you can see, I have it on level five right now and I'm not really getting much muscle movement. I feel the contraction, but I'm not seeing it. Can you guys see that? See my muscles jumping. I'm actually going to pause this right here and I'm going to have you guys come a little bit closer to get a better angle of it. So I'm actually going to start it over since you guys are hovering over my hand right now. And it's actually better to do it this way rather than um, having an overhead camera. So I have it on level zero right now. And I'm moving around to see if there's any movement whatsoever. I don't feel it by any means. Stepping it up. I feel very, very minimal movement right on my index finger closer to my knuckle not sure how well it'll show up whenever the device is positioned right here i feel it more on my index close to my knuckle so i'm going to set it up a little bit higher so this is level three so this seems like seems like it when it's on my nerves literally <laughs> i feel it rather than actually on the muscle tissue which is right here which is really weird So set, there it goes. You can see the little pulsation. And we're sitting at level four, halfway there now. So it was on a nerve. It's no longer on, oh, there it goes. Now you guys can see the pulsation a lot better. So it wasn't until I got to level five that you're able to see something. And I'm gonna do it right here on my forearm. Do y'all hear that ticking sound more? So I know it's connecting, but there's absolutely, oh wait, wait, wait. Y'all hear that ticking sound? Also, of course, the more pressure that you put on it, the more you're going to feel it. I have it on level five right now on my forearm. Ooh, that's loud. Sorry, you guys, you could probably hear the snoring in the background. That's mo that's Captain. And he's not even that close. <laughs> I don't feel anything. I have it on level seven right now. This is literally a situation where the bark is stronger than the bite. It sounds like it's really doing something. Depending on where I, where I put it, I feel it's just sharp needles than actual tens, like the movement. Overall, as you guys seen a really close up of my hairy arm, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm too lazy to shave and that's way too much work. My legs is enough. <laughs> Overall, this device is about 15 bucks and I'm talking about directly from the website. So you're more than likely going to have to pay some form of shipping and handling. I don't see it being worth it. Um, especially considering the fact that I put it all the way to level seven and I didn't see any type of muscle movement. It just felt like sharp needles. No. Don't, don't waste your money. I'm pretty sure that there's other, t I'm pretty sure. I know that there's other TENS units that work significantly better, even off of Wish, uh, believe it or not. <laughs> so, no, that's not an advertisement by any means. This, this video is not sponsored by anybody. Just had to throw that one out there. <laughs> yes, I have bought other TENS units, both um, handheld as well as with the sticky pads, and they work significantly better than this. If you want to try it and, you know, 
you can't shock other people with it. Let me go ahead and tell you that right now because um, you need the complete circulation to go around. So that's the reason why you can't wear any gloves or anything like that with this. So you can't even use it as a weapon <laughs> unless you're throwing it. I do not condone violence. Although um, I'm usually the one that's causing it. That's a whole different story. <laughs> I tell way too much of my videos, don't I? Anyways. So overall, unfortunately, this is a dud. So save your money and invest in a better quality one. I wouldn't say cheaper because I'm pretty sure there are other cheap ones out there that are definitely stronger than this. So don't waste your money. Also, fair warning, if you do decide to get one, be sure to be prepared that you will feel pulsation and electric electricity going through your hand that your dominant hand that's holding it as well so don't get scared or anything like that and also do not start on the highest setting because you will absolutely regret it <laughs> okay that's my two cents and my reviews so if you have any questions drop them down below in the meantime stay tuned stay jazzy thanks for watching guys